Hello Mzansi and welcome to Art Mzansi. There's a whispering Tabo Modise, the country's recently appointed defense minister, has been eyed by President Cyril Ramaphosa as a possible successor. And according to reports, this is the case. It's possible that David Mabuza, the deputy president, is on his way out. Opposition parties are outraged by Mabuza's recent absence, which has lasted for more than five weeks. They want to know more about his leave of absence. The forever absent deputy finally returned from Russia after undergoing medical treatment, and there were many doubts in the ruling party when he did so. Debate about whether Mabuza is fit to serve as president of South Africa has raged on for months. There may be a need to obtain access to his medical records to see if he should continue in his current position. The ANC has expressed alarms about the deputy president's health. Unless Mabuza wants to willingly resign, several South Africans believe Ramaphosa is playing with fire if he thinks about getting a new deputy. The president may want to proceed cautiously in light of Mabuza's shrewd methods of retaining power. Many people have said it's not clear what happened and have been asking if this means that the president is putting together a slate for the upcoming elective conference. Mabuza could become the new RET messiah as a result of this. It would be extremely damaging for the president if he attempts to cross Mabuza. Many people on the other hand believe that this is a wise decision by the president and this will be the first time South Africa has a female deputy president. Tandimo Disa would be an excellent deputy for the country of South Africa.